Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a Virgo channel only, so please remember the messages may or may not resonate for you. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can go to the description box below this video. There will be a link there where you can purchase, uh, book your reading, sometimes even same day. Hello Virgos, how are you? Hope everyone is doing well. All right, let's get started with your reading here, Virgo. Let's get started. What are Virgo's love messages? Okay, so good. You're starting with the sun, very positive, uh, new, uh, well, I don't know if it's new, but a very positive beginning here. Joyfulness, happiness. Um, this is Leo energy. And the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, so we're looking at your person's energy. So it looks like playful, fun, communication, text messages, selfies. <laughs> um, let's take a look, see what else here. All right, and then of course, we're gonna round that off with the Nine of Swords. So let's take a look. Let me keep going before I get into the reading. What are Virgo's love messages? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the Ace of Cups in the center of the reading. And the Queen of Wands, hello. Seven of Swords in the same exact spot as yesterday. Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. All right, here we go. Seven of Cups, decisions, decisions. Which path, which person will I choose? Many options for you, Virgo, coming up in the month of October. Okay, hard to make a decision, difficult to commit to something. All right, Two of Cups is here. So you're, okay, you're definitely coming out. What the heck card is this? Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> well, this deck is called the Golden Art Novel Tarot, okay? So I must have left the thing in there, okay? So if anybody's interested, I've used this twice, three times maybe. Anyway, um, there's a decision. You're definitely meeting somebody in the month of October, Virgo. There's a connection being made here. Okay. Uh, a few dates with several different people, I see. Picking and choosing. Difficult for you to choose, though. Okay. Um, some of you, I feel like, look at their faces. It's kind of like, oh gosh, another broke, busted, and disgusted person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some of you are just kind of weary of that, of picking up any strays while you're out on your, whatever you're doing in your life here. But I'm definitely seeing movement, something fast. Some of you, it's going to be your your postman, your mailman, your postwoman, your mailwoman, um, delivery driver. <laughs> um Virgo, okay, give me a second here. While somebody, while you are away from someone or someone is away from you, love starts coming in. Okay, now that's for those of you who have a like a past situation, okay? But I'm not seeing reconciliation here with someone from the past, so I feel like you're getting a little bit of a break at this time. Okay, let's take a look and see what your love messages are. I'm getting some kind of, um, I don't know, a break from the past. There's definitely love coming in though. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, so far, okay. Um, I'm a little bit curious about what's starting here. Okay, anyway, let me move on. Let me move on because they're, they're already giving me messages and 
it, it, I have to stop them because they, I think spirit, they get so excited when we're about to do a reading. <laughs> okay, free yourself. Oh, Virgo, you are feeling fine. Feeling free. Okay, of course you have to pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so I feel like some of you are just on guard. You're on guard right now. Let your friends help you. Interesting. I'm pulling one more. Okay. Make the effort to pay attention to any red flags. Okay, don't go in blindly. Don't go in blindly to this. You have definitely options coming in for you. All right. <clears throat> now, let's see here. I definitely feel like you're taking back control of your life. You're freeing yourself from any past energies or um, you're just done with the past. You're ready to start over here. I do see, though, that this is difficult for you. You're having, some of you are having dreams that are not pleasant or you're having a bit of anxiety at night, a little stress, okay? Wondering if you're ever going to meet someone. So it's interesting because the sun is here which is joyful, positive. And then bookending that is the Nine of Swords, which is stress and anxiety. And so I kind of feel, and I don't know why, but this feels like this is going to be more about you. But we will pick up on somebody else as well. Um, I just feel like you are kind of in between. Like during the day, you're very happy. You feel content. You're doing your thing. You feel positive. But then when night rolls around, you're kind of like, man, I wish I had a lover. Or man, I wish I had someone to talk to. Or I wish there was someone in my life that was sending me sweet messages or good morning texts or um, someone I was asking me out on a date or just someone. Just there's this feeling I'm picking up here that, you know, you don't want to rush into any kind of relationship. Um, you are looking at red flags. You are kind of like, gee, I, you know, you're making sure you don't, you don't want to get ghosted again by somebody, but you're struggling a little bit here. You definitely are because you, some of you might just feel kind of lonely at night and just wishing maybe that you had someone there that someone special not just anyone but someone special you know um and i feel like this is the energy here where you just really want to make that connection you want to find a soulmate you know um now that night of swords energy this kind of feels to me like some of you are trying to run away from some of you are really tempering yourselves. You're trying to not think about it too much. I, I don't know why. I just get this sense. They're, they're giving me like this overall feeling of <clears throat> like nighttime is the hardest. Nighttime is, is difficult for some of you. All right. But let's get into some clarifiers here and see what's going on. You're definitely trying to free yourself from a past relationship, but it's not easy. The residual maybe of somebody is still in your energy field you're definitely trying to take back control of your life in many ways or just resettle or make yourself um just to feel free of the anxiety because some of you still have some of that left over you might have been involved with someone in the past where it just maybe you felt ill with it it was an ill relationship yeah freeing yourself the world you know um a lot of you <coughs> excuse me, a lot of you during the day are, um, you know, out there in the world and you're enjoying, you're socializing, you're, you know, you have distractions during the day, Virgo, and those daytime distractions keep your mind off of a past relationship or the struggle, because um, I do feel like there was some kind of, the five of pentacles is the struggle up. There was a, 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 a prior relationship where somebody wasn't committing or was ghosting and, you know, some of you went on a search to find, to see if you could get back together with this person and it didn't really work out. And I feel like a lot of you are just coming to the end of things here. You're just finally throwing in the towel but it's not easy for you okay it's not easy because some of you are still missing the good aspects of the connection with that person but you're determined to keep moving on and you're staying hopeful that um 
somebody new will come into your life, a good connection, right? So it's okay to be there. Let me take a look here at this world because now that's two major arcana. Let's see. Okay. Well, the Six of Pentacles showed up in reverse, so they're definitely, you're not giving back to us. You're not giving to a situation anymore. You're just not, you're not sharing. You're not opening yourself up. You're just really, I don't necessarily feel like you're fully trying to let go of somebody here, but I do feel like you are, for now, freeing yourself up from any kind of struggle at this time. You're taking a time out. You're taking control back of your life. You're doing, you're separating from someone, um, some of you temporarily and some of you permanently. Some of you are undecided because you're kind of up and down. You know, at night, you want to talk to this person. At night, you miss that person. But during the day, if they reach out to you, you probably wouldn't respond because you're just busy with other things going on in your life, right? So you're you're kind of like, you're maybe some of you are traveling. Um, I just don't feel like you're really trying to invest in communicating with someone during the day. Night's tough. Let me take a look because the Nine of Swords can represent mental conflict, um, or nightmares, or anxiety. Um, some of you, I just heard that song from Warrant, Sometimes She Cries. I don't know if you've ever heard that song. Got a picture of you know, and standing by the door. Dun, 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 the memories come flooding back. And I do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's such an old song. I think that guy passed away too. Um, sometimes she cries. Sometimes he cries. Uh, maybe some some of you aren't actually shedding tears, but maybe you get a lump in your throat or you feel a little mm, emotional. You know, something you're missing someone. You're not missing the poverty. You're not missing the struggle. Um, all right. I keep repeating myself, so let me go to the Nine of Swords, okay, yeah. So, the star in reverse and in the upright is like you're on the brink of healing, okay? You're, you're not fully healed yet, but you're on your way to this. That's Aquarian energy. Um, you're on your way to renewal of your spirit, okay? Okay. Um, some of you are in this position where you know you can't renew a particular relationship because it was too much of a struggle, okay? Um, you're not as hopeful. And I feel like nighttime is what I'm saying. You really lose hope at night. Night kind of gets you. And I feel like it's really important for you with this page of cups to maybe text a friend or someone whom you know that you can reach out to um who will just kind of i feel be there for you just to talk to when you feel kind of lonely when you have those moments okay um and i don't know if this is resonating for all of you but for some it might be let's take a look at this page of cups now for some of you i will say this past person Maybe reaching out to you sometime around dusk, after dinner, but before um, late night. And I feel like it might be a bit of a surprise for you. It's I don't necessarily know that you want to hear from this person, though. Some of you may, but there might be anxiety that comes with this message that you just kind of feel like, well, I don't really know what to respond or you're still trying to free yourself you know not trying to get sucked back into um the vortex <laughs> the vacuum of a go nowhere relationship or any toxicity okay now this could be an ex from like 10 20 years ago or this could be somebody that you were currently communicating with that uh, I don't know, 
I don't know why you would have these deep. If you were if you were recently communicating with someone and you're having these are having like a grave effect on you, this person may may be triggering something in you, some past trauma. Okay, so the Four of Wands, yeah. Um, to clarify the Page of Cups, some of you may need to reach out to family, like I said. Um, oops. I hear you may, there may be a message coming for you. For some of you, there is a message coming for you. Somebody wants you to come home. Now, I don't know if this is a lover or if it's a family member or a friend or they tell you that they miss you. There's also an apology. You're, you're in betwixt and between with this connection here. It's like you have one foot out the door, but something's still holding you back. And, and I feel like mostly it's because you haven't fully, it, there hasn't been enough time yet for healing. So this is the time for you to be, like I said, guarding your heart. Um, because some of you need to really just, listen, when you have an open wound, um, you have to rest it. You have to until it heals and even you know the outside may heal the inside still it takes longer the inside takes longer to heal okay so um you're almost there i feel like some of you know um you might have blocked somebody um because you just don't want to have any salt pour, poured onto a wound um, or you're just trying not to have communication with someone who could be currently reaching out to you right now or still, and you're trying to like, uh, you know, it's funny because I just heard like, when someone is fighting back with you in a relationship, that means they're still invested. But when the arguments stop and the, and the other person or someone just says, do whatever, that means like they're no longer, it's not even worth the fight anymore. And I kind of feel like Virgo, you're in that space right now. You're not fully out of this, but you're just kind of looking at the other person like it's whatever. Do your thing. Oh, I see. You're very like gray rocking. You're just not really investing here. Okay. So as you're going through all this healing, wait, Spirit just said um, another card on the star reversed. Okay. And they said, just shuffle that deck one more time. <laughs> They're out here telling me what to do. It's my channel. <laughs> All right, let me see. They said, check this. They said, pull another card for this star. There's something else they want to tell you. Okay. You're not strong enough yet. Strength in reverse. And the Ace of Cups at the bottom, just like here. Um, they're telling you your blessing is coming, Virgo. The blessing is coming. The person you're meant to be with is on their way. But spirit, higher power, just needs you to get a bit stronger at this time. Okay? You're not ready just yet. This, you're almost at the end of this struggle. Okay? This, this heavy burden you're carrying around. You're almost there. Oh, Keep going with fervor and passion, Knight of Wands, and then boom, the tower and who comes in. Okay, so you have um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, is this your past person? No. It's, all right, they're giving me now, they're saying it's definitely a Sagittarius. Um, now, I have to just give a little caveat here. As a Virgo, I, I don't do well with Sagittarius men. I think they're like freaking cuckoo, buku, cuckoo balls. I don't like, it's just me. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But this isn't for me because I'm good. But I just, if you get along with Sagittarius men, have at it. Okay. Or women have at it. The women are fine. It's the males. I'm just like, crazy so spirits just kind of saying um and if you're here as a sagittarius and you have um, virgo in any other placement no no um 
nothing personal. It's just been my experience. Maybe someday I'll meet a Sagittarius person, male, who will change that, but um, I have yet to experience that yet. Um, I just think we just don't gel, that's all. Anyway, back to your reading. Um, so yeah, Spirit's saying you're not strong yet, ready, but there is love coming in here, okay? Now for some of you, there's going to be, okay. Okay, if you are um, into same-sex relationships, there you go. You have a same-sex partner coming in, a fire sign. Um, and it, I just felt the need to put that out there. Virgo, I kind of feel like love is coming and it is going to be with a fire sign. Now, I can clarify. I feel like... Pay attention to red flags. And it's not saying that there's going to be any, but just spirit wants you to know that this time around, don't go willy nilly into a relationship until you get to really know the person. Don't be out there creating these soul ties with physical intimacy right away. Save that for later. Save the dessert comes after dinner, honey. So take your time getting to know somebody first so that you don't get that soul tie made and then you know you're with each other and then you get attached and this person turns out to be a real, you know, a-hole. And then now you gotta make the effort to go through this whole thing again. It's kind of like, you know, you work real hard at, you know, your fitness or your eating and your nutrition, and then you go and you splurge for like three months and then you gotta start all over again. And it's worse the second, third, fourth time, right? But you, you definitely have um, a blessing of healing and love coming in. Now, for some of you, this might be a really good friend who's coming forward, okay, in October that brings a blessing to you because there may be a difficulty in, um, you know, this may not resonate for all of you, but there may be a difficulty in getting yourself out there fully, okay? Um, but the Spirit is bringing somebody in who is going to come in and help you, okay? Now, we have to take a look here. I need to see, because I've got you right here. I need to see a little more about this Queen of Wands. Okay, well, isn't that interesting? The King of Cups. Okay, King of Cups here all the time. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, this is somebody who's coming in as a friend. Okay, this person's coming in, and what you have in common um, are past or current relationships. Like this person comes in to tell you a story. You bond over the fact that your either person that you're trying to get away from at this time or person you were involved with before. They're like, this new friend is like, oh my gosh, yeah, that person was a narc. I know what you mean. Like, you guys bond over this healing thing. I feel like you, usually my, yes, compared to yesterday's reading, I mean, come on. This feels like somebody's coming in to share their story with you. Either they were with your person there's a bonding here, kind of like either they were with your person and they reach out to you. Here we go with the scandalous and the drama. Either they were with your person and they reach out to you to, to tell you um, where you guys kind of go in cahoots together about this ex or this person you were connecting with. Um, they confirm everything for you. This is what boosts your healing. This is, this is what gets you out and back up on the horse because I feel it's coming through so strong I feel like you are in a state of confusion like a tornado whipped through your brain with someone you were with in the past and you kind of have a handle on it but you kind of don't your emotions are crept up you're angry your anger is propelling you out of it but yet at night you're remembering things and you're reminiscing and like you're 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 betwixt in between here somebody comes in okay 
somebody comes in now now are you still going to meet a king of wands and i do feel like that person is going to come in yes but right now the main message here is there's a friend there's a friend male or female that comes in to, so for i don't know however you guys whatever your your preferences are but i'm seeing two females here so for the ladies there's a female friend coming in and she's going to tell you hey i was with your that that same person i was with that person or someone like your person and this is and but mostly it's your person and they were they're a cheater and they're a liar and you know they were seeing me while they were seeing you and you two find out about each other scandalous and for the males the same thing and this propels you and there's healing because this king of cups is showing up here in reverse which is master emotional manipulator in reverse not in the upright in the reverse clingy obsessive um plays the victim plays the nice the nice girl the nice guy um but is is very like codependent and uh jealous and possessive and a master emotional emotionally manipulative all right let's take a look here at you virgo <laughs> you have the eight of pentacles okay that is the effort card here and you virgo and in, in virgo fashion and form will be like wait let me take a closer look at that is wait let me read your text messages what are, did this person message you let me read what they wrote to you and i'll show you what they wrote to me see there's a little there's a little mm -mm, something something little investigation going on here okay and that's make the effort the signs are cautioning you you're going to start seeing these red flags everything that you've known to be true virgo about this person but could not prove it for some reason is now coming out the dirty laundry is coming out in the wash okay and everything's going to be revealed to you i feel like the end of this confusion and these nightmares and this back and forth energy um is coming to an end finally because you're not investing for some reason virgo there's something going on that you've pulled away from this person or that you're not investing in this anymore and this person might be swinging around hanging around or trying to come back or whatever but it feels like i don't know if they were with your person at the same time as you were but there is a connection definitely Ace of Cups here. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, listen. I, I, listen, I, I've been following the Brian Laundry, Gabby Petito thing, right? Like when I'm not here with you, I do read about it. I do follow it. And um, I've seen a lot of readers on YouTube who've been posting, you know, videos about it and stuff. And I, I see it and I'm like, I just, I can't fall into that. As much as I love scandal, just like the next person, I just can't fall into it. But I have to tell you, do you see this card? Now I've been looking at this card for the past three three days and it's just been showing up and showing up. And this specific card keeps screaming to me that this looks like Brian Laundry. All right, the big nose. Now, of course, it, he doesn't look like he has any hair, but he's got like a hat on. And I keep looking at this and I keep, it makes me feel sick because this is the seven of swords. This is the runaway, the person who runs away. And this is um, the sneak, deceitful deception behind the scenes, stealing the thief now i didn't go any deeper into it um to try to figure out if spirit's trying to give me a message and asking me to kind of go a little deeper with that whole thing but i just felt like i i, I don't know something told me i needed because there's mountains there and there's snow 
on those mountains and I don't know where that would be because I don't know too much about don't know much about geography so apart from that if I'm going to say anything about that case and where that guy is I'm feeling snow-capped mountains and that's all I can say anyway the seven of swords here on the ace of cups and that's what the offer is that's what's coming in from this person to say to you, yes. Oh, and also the other thing, like there's a campground, a campsite, or circus. Brian's like hiding in the circus. I don't know. But coming in with this offer to tell you, yes, there was cheating and running around and running, sneaking around, that kind of thing. So Vir Virgo, I know you want your reading to be, oh, this person loves me. And uh, I mean... I just give the message as it comes through and I feel like I'm more concerned with the fact that you're not sleeping at night or you're struggling um, here with what I see. Like during the day, you're fine because you're distracted, but night's hard for you and I want you to reach out and touch someone or talk to somebody. I feel like somebody's going to come in and give you the answers that you need. The truth will set you free. So seven of swords, seven of swords. And really what I feel here, look, let your friends help you. This is what this is all about. Your friends, your family, you need the support. You're trying to get away from something or somebody who is just an outright liar and manipulator. Um, but for some reason, I feel like you really couldn't prove it, but you knew. Okay? Ask for and accept support and help from others, whether it's your friends or family members or whatever. Um, but look at this. Here you are. You walk away. Right here. From these deceitful, deceit, lying, um, all of that. You you leave it. You you finally walk away from it for good. And you go looking for your ninth cup. And here you are. Now you're in the King of Pentacles mode where you've stiffened up, you've gotten stronger. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is much softer, more um, in the yin energy. And Virgo, you're a yin sign. Um, you're a bit more passive, but you take on a little bit more of a masculine role now, like you strong arm, get your confidence back. The King of Pentacles is much more confident than the Queen of Pentacles. Um, but now you take a leadership role in your life here after the truth, the real truth comes out. Am I saying that this person was currently was cheating or messing around with somebody else um, while they were with you? Not necessarily, but for some it could be. For others, it could just be that this person, this this either other female or other male comes in and says, and there's a conversation about your ex person or that one whom you were dealing with. And then things begin to get clear for you, right? Um, some of you already know, but there's a little more information coming in. There's a, a bit more surprise information and things you're going to find out about this person that you did not know. And I feel like that's going to cement things for you. Um, you know, when we're done this, I'm going to pull the King of Wands and I'm going to see what that energy is. Okay. Because I, you know, for some, it could be your person from the past coming to keep trying to reach out or wanting to, you know, renew things with you or come back. But I don't know, Virgo, you have this gut, this very strong gut feeling about this person, things you've seen, what you've witnessed. Um, if they were aggressive, if they were very, like, it just the relationship was very strugglesome, or why they couldn't commit, why they kept ghosting, were they talking to somebody else? There's a lot of answers coming from the, another person for you. All right, let's take a look at this Seven of Swords here. <laughs> Five Cups. Well, you're definitely going to have a little bit of, um, sadness some grief about all this you're gonna go through it a little bit you know you're gonna go through it but i'll tell you what the anxiety will lessen a bit and but this is you'll get the opportunity to mourn okay because i don't feel i feel like the anxiety is here because you never really got the opportunity to mourn or this person wouldn't let you go and let you mourn so you could get over them 
they didn't want you to get over them so they would kind of just come back in and then disappear and they would come back in later and then disappear and then you never get a chance to grieve it's awful that's an awful thing you know when somebody passes away you know breakups divorces can feel like a death and it's really hard to grieve the passing of someone who doesn't come who doesn't leave you alone okay hasn't given you the opportunity to, to grieve it instead they're like they're in and then they disappear they ghost and then they come back you know virgo you have to take care of yourself though it's not this person's responsibility to 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 make you grieve them you have to do that and if you need to if you feel like you're being deprived of the opportunity to heal so you can get some your emotions back into balance um you're gonna be up the one you're going to have to be the one to shut this down right and not leave that number open that phone open or ways for this person to contact you um they may not even know that this is something that you're going through and you may have to tell this person listen you you need to be a, you may tell them if they try to reach out to you which i do feel like they're going to try to reach out to you uh, you may tell them listen i need some time by myself okay i picked up the wrong card um i need time to separate from you you don't need to tell them that you're going to you're grieving them and you just whatever you just take care of yourself um because you need to go through this because it's selfish on their part it's selfish on their part if you're if you're hurting and they just keep coming back so they can get what they want um you know you're not the f boy f girl whisperer it's not your responsibility to take care of everybody else's needs and leave yourself just hanging you got to take care of yourself virgo and you may need a little bit of you might need to um you'll find you get by with a little bit of help from your friends all right let me take a look here eight of oh okay king of swords is here so we have the king of cups king of pentacles king of swords king of wands okay so this separation this time apart hmm some of you may have a king or a queen of swords who um gives you that kick in the pants because that's what the sword people are good for right they give you that kick this person comes in with that kick in the pants and says hey virgo go take a vacation get a, get out of this relationship go on go on some kind of retreat get away from the do something you know that's what the king of swords is good for it comes in and says hey virgo get up off your ass and get your butt to the gym <laughs> get up off your butt and go walk your dog get moving get out of dodge here with this person okay um some this is, feels like a friend this doesn't feel like a lover this person they come in in this sorty energy they may not be gemini libra aquarius but they do say hey it's time for you to go search and find somebody new or just get yourself out there and, and open yourself up to new love this is what's going on virgo i cannot even believe the strength of this message here okay but you've got some great people around you um get your grieving on take a couple days eat a couple pints of ice cream chow down on some popcorn watch some sad movies do what you got to do and then get your butt right back up on the horse and get out there and see who's out there okay let me take a look here and wait one more thing for, they just said another card for the king of swords page of pentacles in the reverse okay um so the king of swords is saying don't worry about your ideas or your plans or getting like oh you got to do this you got to do that you got to go on a journey open road some of you open road get in that car and just head down route 66 open road just go do some you time that's what this this person or they want to take a ride with you or you know i don't know where we're gonna go they might say let's not make any plans let's let's just go okay 
let's just go. Because the page of pentacles in the upright is somebody who communicates their plans, ideas, and things they want to do. In the reverse, it's like, we don't have no plans. This is a plan-free trip. Let's get out. Let's just go. I don't care where we go. We, You and I, or, or you need to just go. Go get lost for a little while. All right. King of Pentacles. Okay, there you are. Wow. Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. Okay. Now, some of you might also have a fire sign friend, which I saw up here. Um, so you have, this feels to me like two friends. All right, for the males, if it's a female coming in to tell you, you you're bonding over past exes, you need to know um, you might wind up blocking this person. I'm speaking to the males here. You might wind up blocking this, this female friend that comes in to tell you about this a past person, like find this person. They're coming in to find give you both find common ground, but you might block them. Um, for some reason, <laughs> I don't know. I think you might just decide, yeah, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You don't want, you might feel, okay, they're giving me strange messages. If, if you, you, okay, hold on. For the males, you might find yourself attracted to this female. But she's not going to try to be with you, okay? She doesn't want that. Just so you know. Air, or, sorry, fire sign. It's a fire sign female, okay? And for, um, for the females, I feel like... All right, now they're giving me a bunch of messages. Hold on. Who's talking to me right here? Who's talking to me? Okay. You guys, male and female, you get yourselves uh, in a really good position. Okay, you get yourselves settled and straight in a really good position. I'm a little concerned here. Okay, this is what they're telling me. You do get yourself in a really good position, but you need to be very careful that you don't come out of this with a hardened heart. Very, very important message for you, for somebody here. You get yourself, remember I was saying you, you, you kind of come out very strengthened here, more so than, um, more yang than yin, but you need to be very careful that you're not blocking love because you are so protecting your heart now that you don't even want to accept any love, okay? Um, be careful that the pendulum doesn't swing too far in the opposite direction. Whereas before you were so open and you got burned and now you are so closed, you don't even get to feel love at all. So you got to find a balance here. Okay. Because that is what this card is about. Balance. Okay. Yeah, you come out of this. Yes, you get strong. Yes, you have your friends. Be careful of a friend that isn't that keeps you from finding love again because this friend has become so bitter about your relationship with somebody else or, you know, that you guys had a commonality between an ex. Um, that there isn't a heavy influence. That's what I feel from this person that's like anti-love <clears throat> and that just feels like a worry there's somebody here who really is concerned about your mental and emotional state and has really good um, intentions for you and i feel like this is an air sign 
air sign. Air signs have the ability to just let things roll off their back. As a matter of fact, today I was talking to my eldest son. He's 25. He's a Gemini. And we were talking about, I told him how like when I go to bed at night, I have my little routines and my stuff that I like to have before I go to bed. You know, I get my glass of water. I make sure my charger's in the right place. I make sure my shows are set up for when I, you know, that's just me. And he just looked at me. He's like, Mom, I never, I don't have anything that I need in my life. He's like, he's a Gemini. He is a true blue Gemini. He's like, I just go with the flow. I try to keep my life as simplistic as possible. And he just laughs and laughs and laughs at everything. And he's always happy. He finds humor in everything. Things just roll off his back, right? And so it's interesting because I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about this air sign um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, who's just like, yo, open road, go and this is where you'll find your happiness. I feel like if there's somebody here who's coming in, like a friend or someone that comes in and gives you information about your person, um, take the information, okay? Hear what that person has to say. Um, if it if it lines up, if it's cohesive with what you went through and you find it to be true. Grieve it and then move on with your life and let go of this person, okay? Um, because what's going to happen is if you don't grieve it and you stay in touch with this person, all you two are going to be talking about going forward is the past, the ex, and then you're keeping that person alive and then you're never moving on to somebody new. So let go of them right away. That's the message that I'm hearing. It's a very strange message. And for those of you... Um, that's really what I feel like. Even if the males, if you feel an attraction or that you feel like there's good, there could be like something there, mm -mm, don't go, don't do it. Cut that person out, leave them, let them go. Okay. Cause that, you know, I mean, I know you like scandal, but go watch Netflix if you want something scandalous. This went on forever. All right. Let me get, um, I want to take a look at this. I'm not, I, this is going to go on a little bit longer than I expected. I'm going to take a look at the um, love mess. No, you know what? No, I'm not. Some of you were dealing with a real shite. And the last thing you need to be hearing about is if this person loves you. Because if they betrayed you, they lied, they were disloyal and deceitful, it doesn't matter if they loved you. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But if people treat other people that way, they obviously don't love themselves. So how can they love you, right? Um, it's really not your, your bag of bones to be carrying around. So... Let me get your advice here. And then I will do some singles. We had a king of wands, remember? Who I don't feel like is your ex. And I don't feel like it's this person. This friend who's coming in to give you the deets. And give you the tea on a past relationship. Okay. What is Virgo's advice? Every day it's a different message, isn't it? Every day it's something new. Yesterday was hot. <laughs> that was a hot, hot reading. And today, so just so you know, when the messages, like every day they may not resonate, like it might not be in continuation of each day. You know, some days it's like a little bit something different. And I know some of you in the comments, well, this one didn't resonate today. It's not for you. Somebody here needed to get this message. That's why we get you got to keep showing up every day because something might be for you. All right, Virgo. Wow. Four of Cups. I did tell you there was a surprise communication coming in from your, your ex person, whoever this manipulator person was, um, emotional manipulator, apology. Just be careful with that. That's all. Um, this is a card about... The distractions of daily life, right? You got that going on, um, but you're kind of lost in your own world. Your message here with this card is to really wake yourself up, get woken up about what you've been dealing with, so you can move on from it. You know, you may need a little help to do that. Don't you can't wake yourself up. No, you know. I mean, I guess you could, but you really can't. That's why you set your alarm. So make your friends, your alarms, your red flags to come in and help you out. 
um, help you see the truth about things so you don't slip back into confusion or um, or that you don't waste time okay three of pentacles do what you love virgo recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors and you will be paid well for any craft that you're working on at this time um, this just feels like get busy building virgo get busy building whatever you're building whatever you're carving maybe you're carving um your body you're working out lean lifting weights you're carving you're doing or you're carving a sculpture you're, you're building so you're working on something right so at night i just heard when you're having this anxiety you got to focus on something um think about your dreams virgo um think about your visions stop thinking about this person if they pop up into your head see that takes time it doesn't automatically go away you have willpower and control so you have to change your mind you have to get distracted with other things if the thought of your past person causes you anxiety or grief um so you you have to in, instead um put a plan together envision something envision the outcome of something like say say you're picturing yourself in on a vacation or how you would get there what you would pack in your suitcase what things you would need um, picture yourself if you built up your muscles and you got real fit or you you know how would you look picture yourself in your cl new clothing um, new and improved picture yourself in new and improved situations uh, that will fill you with hope picture yourself in a, in a healthy relationship and what that would look like that will fill you with hope start building oh of course seven of cups we end where we start almost so make a choice stop procrastinating and stop overanalyzing. get clarity on what you desire and move forward that's what i just said If you have too many options, start narrowing them down. Um, and be careful of your addictions as well, if you have any. Get addicted to good things. Get addicted to apples. Get addicted to health. Get addicted to clear um, clarity in your, in your mind. Get addicted to good things. Addiction is okay, I think. I mean, sure, everything in moderation, but... You know, if you get addicted to good things, how, how can that really harm you? I mean, I guess if you eat too many apples, you'll be in the bathroom a lot, but it's not going to kill you. All right, let's take a look. Let's go into the singles. I hope you guys, I hope that reading was helpful. I know yesterday it was like whew, off the charts. Is that what the kids say today? Do kids say that anymore? Off the charts, off the chain, or is that old school? What are the new things the kids say today? Um, I think one of my sons said something the other day, and I was like, that doesn't even make any sense. What do you, what? <laughs> and I just looked at him, and I was like, that's sketch. And he goes, Mom, that's like so 2000, sketch. Nobody says sketch anymore. <laughs> All right, um, okay, we're gonna take a look at the singles. So we saw King of Wands, okay. Let me find, let me find, where did I see that King of Wands? Let me get the King of Wands out. Now that's male or female, okay. Don't know, did I use this deck? I can't remember. Oh no, I have it here. Hi everybody. Hey, I saw a couple of you made super chats yesterday and I just wanna say thank, I think Tina, um, I don't know if the moderators were able to, I didn't read the whole chat, thank you for that, but I just wanna say in advance, if you leave me a super chat uh, donation, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
All right. I don't know where the King of Wands is up. That's okay. If the King of Wands is meant to come out, he, King or Queen, he or she will come out. All right. Let's take a look. Singles. So, Virgo, who's coming in for you? Who is coming in for Virgo? Because Virgo's like, I am, I need a lover that won't drive me crazy. All right, please show us a whole bunch of cards here. Oh, Hala with the Emperor is back. Aries. All right. Okay, this person has a business, works in real estate. You're going to meet this person. Um, either they work in real estate um, as an agent, they are, they're a broker, uh, they work in banking and financing, CEO. They're at, like, they're at like the top of the ladder in their profession. Um, hmm. This is a single as a Pringle human being. Okay, they are head of household. Run the show, this person, or they run a business. They're like top executive CEO. Um, this can be, the emperor can represent someone who's like, I don't know, the highest rank of anything. Okay, they're, they're high ranking. You're gonna meet this person at a social event. Okay. For some of you, there may be a party on a boat. I just saw a party on a boat, like a, a boat party, <laughs> a party on a boat. Yes, yes, yes. You'll be out with your friends and this person will be there. Okay. There's a lot of um, flirty, sweet communication will be uh, exchanged between the two of you, okay? Flirt, flirty, some drinking, happy hour, could be, doesn't have to be a boat, could be because some of you, I know you're like, but I live in the desert. Um, happy hour, uh, it could be in a club or something when you're out with your friends. Um, your friends may be trying to, oh gosh, they just said, some of you have friends who are going to introduce you to this person. They're going to do the hookup thing for you because they know what you've been going through. They want you to be happy. Um, they're going to introduce you to this person. For some of you, some of you have children and you're going to meet the parent of one of your child's friends and there's going to be like a, a date or something okay so if you have little little oh, it could be older kids could be in school um this could be also a principal or a teacher of the school or something um there might be like um okay they just said something at a school could even be for your grandkids something at a school event party refreshments you meet that person there so if you're involved with this if you're not involved in your children's or your child or your grandchildren's school uh, get involved if you are involved go to the parties more i feel like you're going to meet somebody at some type of social event all right let's see what else okay oh wow they just gave you the five of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, the struggle is over. Struggle is over. Both of you coming in, coming out of a poverty relationship. <laughs> Hold on a minute. This person is definitely, um, they were broke at one point. They may tell you this, like they were flat broke. Um, the pandemic hit them, something happened. They lost a lot of money. They lost money in investments, stocks, their portfolio shrank to like zero. They went for broke. They were on unemployment. They were struggling, not anymore. They're back up on the horse. 
I feel like that's just something they may tell you. Uh, I don't know why they need to tell me to tell you that, but I feel like that's something they may tell you. Yeah, Eight of Swords reversed. I don't know why all of these are coming up reversed because they're all in the upright. Um, this person may tell you that, oh yeah, yeah, As soon, that's it. That's, that's what they're gonna tell you. During the lockdown and everything, they had a real financial struggle, but once the restrictions lifted, they're gonna tell you that everything, like they got back up on the horse, things were good, okay? So let's see what else. I don't know, they came into a lot of money. This person is wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Wealthy and healthy. What else? Okay. Nine of Wands. Okay. They're hesitant. They'll be a little hesitant, right? Um, I feel like for some of you... Oh, stuff's falling. I feel like for some of you, it's going to be a blind date. 100%. But you're going to know about each other but it's gonna be a blind date. Like friends hook you guys up or introduce you, like you know of each other, but you don't really remember what each other looks like, that kind of thing. I feel like it's gonna happen here. Both of you are gonna be a little hesitant. Both of you, especially this person, a little kind of gun shy. And you know, because of that, they may, not see this as an opportunity and you might not either because the four of cups is here that's a warning about missing a golden opportunity um you both might be hesitant about meeting you know um maybe for some reason there's there's a hesitation for something um but i feel like that's just par for the course after what you've been through yeah because you really <laughs> Virgo, look at you. You're here with the Nine of Pentacles. You're just like, listen, I just got my bag back. I am just got myself back together. I'm very protective of myself. I'm not giving away any of my jewels. I'm keeping my crown and I'm keeping my money locked up in my safe. I'm you know, not letting anybody touch me. I'm single and independent. I don't need no man. I don't need no woman. You're kind of a little bit like that. And your person sees this new person will see this about you um, and like it. <laughs> That's attractive. Why? I don't know. I'll tell you why. Yes, I do know. Because this is the emperor. And the emperor doesn't settle for anything less than an empress. And vice versa. Males and females. Okay? The emperor needs a sidekick. And the sidekick is the empress and this is to me this feels like the princess before she becomes a queen or the prince before he becomes a king okay this person knows that you've been struggling but they come in um, with this leadership thing for the females this person comes in with this desire to take care of you and bring you up to empress status and for the males, um, this is your energy here. You're, you're leveled up to emperor status and you want someone that you can take care of and you see this person that you meet. For the males, um, the divine feminine is very independent and self-sufficient um, and it's attractive to you because she is not going to be... Um, pulling you down or dragging you down because she can take care of herself, okay? And um, you change the sexes however you like because I cannot do a single reading for each of the different genders or sexes and no offense, in it, but it's that's up to you. You got to take care of that. All right, let me see here. What else? Oh, okay, harmony. This, this relationship will it will be very harmonious between the two of you. It will fit nicely like a glove. It's not going to be if it don't fit, must acquit. This is going to be totally like in harmony with each other. A very nice 
connection with this person, peacefulness, rest. You you can find you finally find someone here, Virgo. You finally meet someone that you can get that you feel safe with, safe to sleep under all these swords, and not worry that they're going to fall down and, and stab you. This is an energy of like complete peace with this person. It feels there's a sense of feeling protective, protected, or being protective, protected, feeling protected or or someone being protective. Am I saying that right? Oh, and here comes the something, something for some of you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> a lot of growth. Yes, seeds get planted and a whole heck of growth. Physical male virility. Oh boy, somebody gets their mojo back here. Definitely, yep. And there's the eight of cups. Going on a journey together here, leaving home. Virgo, Virgo, you are meeting someone very special. Oh my goodness. Strength is here. Courageous and strong and confident. Someone, who, wow. This person might be famous for some of you or have a level of fame. Maybe y'all are going to be meeting Tyler Staro. He's an Aries. <laughs> so this person comes in. Oh, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It feels really good. It feels like I get really good vibes from this. Somebody is like, this somebody you can depend on that you know isn't going to throw you under the bus, isn't going to play from left field isn't going to just completely throw you curveballs all the time. Maybe they're a baseball player. I'm speaking in baseball terms. Um, this person comes in, they're well respected, they're reliable, they have leadership abilities, you know, and it's just someone that like you can partner up with. Yes. And we end the way we start 100% with the sun. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, um, ending on a very positive note here for you guys, and I'm just so happy about this. Okay, because this feels like you get your you get your your warm your energy back, your glow, your joy, your happiness. You've been through a lot in this past reading that I just finished here. Prior to this was difficult, but you come out into the sun again, Virgo. Right? For those of you who are struggling. Don't you even worry about it. You're going to be right back up on top, riding that white horse through the sunflower fields. To hell. <laughs> You'll be very happy, Virgo, and I'm happy for you. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there again. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link below in the description box. Thank you guys for being here. So much fun. I hope you like my new Halloween setup. I would like to go all through the year like this. Um, I probably will, and I'll just take away the skull. But if I get more Halloween stuff, I'll put that up. Because I, I just love this month. It's so much fun. All right, you guys. So again, thanks for being here. And I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to be here Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to get a one-card mini reading from me, it's $20 Super Chat. So just show up in the live. I'll be on for two hours. And if you have like something comes up or you just want to get a quickie reading, show up, ask your questions, and I will answer whatever you like. All right, you guys. Love you all. Thank you to all the moderators for being here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.